Kentucky has won six of the last seven matchups with Louisville. Straight man, see how long it takes Kentucky to start pounding that ball inside, Jim. McGuire open, not hit. Padgett for a three. Tipped out by Shepard, but into the arms of Dantzler. Kentucky has out-rebounded every opponent. If they've got an advantage in this game, is to go inside and keep it up on the glass. Louisville does not have a starter over 6-7. Not even a player on the roster. Over 6-7. Murray lobs it inside. And he led Maben just too much. Maben a freshman. That's guard to guard on a weak side lob. Incredible leapers for two guards out there now. Shepard and Maben. A hold away from the ball. And it's called on Marcus Maben. Jim, it's interesting when you announce the starting lineups for Kentucky. We think of that 96 national championship team. Nobody played over 27 minutes. This club is very similar. There's the ball going down inside. Shepard comes back out with it. In they go to McGlure. Dantzler tied him up, and the arrow belongs to the Cardinals. McGlure really needed to gather himself that time. He had plenty of room to come on down and put it up strong. Purdue up two with 10 seconds to go. Providence putting up quite a fight in West Lafayette. Here's Maven, open three, and Louisville with the game's first points. Really important to make that shot and make it early. They broke down the press. Kentucky is going to give you that shot on the wing against the press, but you got to hit them. Every inside. Oh, give it. that basket to McGlure. Looked like it was tipped in by Louisville. Yeah, I think Maven got a hand on it. Nate Johnson with the jumper. Way too strong. He was on the line. The turnover. Edwards climbing up into the air to retrieve it, but a turnover. Probably not a wise pass by Shepard. You know, going cross court. No need to make that play. And there's a dangerous pass I've ever saw one. Under the opposing team's basket, cross court. It's Alex Sanders, he can shoot from the outside and he hits the jumper. If Louisville has an advantage and there's holding, trying to stop Turner from getting the inbounds pass. It's on Dantzler. But the tough matchup for Dantzler. Kentucky, obviously, is going out on Sanders, who, as you said, Jim, can step outside for the three. Obviously has an advantage there because McGlure not used to guarding a man that far from the basket. 5-2 Louisville. Dropping back inside, playing a little two-man zone. Edwards misfiring on the three. Sanders, will he challenge McGlure? Fade away. And no one underneath, really, for Louisville in position to rebound. Padgett pulls it away. Turner takes the middle. And he'll try to drive on Murray. Murray's called for the block. Pretty good defense by Murray, though, moving his feet. As Turner about as good as anybody in the country pushing the ball up the floor. Wayne Turner, who started the last nine games of the previous season. That meant he started all throughout the NCAA tournament. Had a fine March event. 4-1 to one ratio during the tournament on assist to turnovers. 27-7. to seven. That's incredible. Shepard back to the rim. Louisville doing a very good job boxing out down inside, getting all the rebounds. Maven doesn't get his second three of the game. And that was last touch by Padgett. If Louisville's going to do something on the offensive glass, Sanders is going to have to get down inside on all shots. That time he was 30 feet from the basket. Cameron Murray, three-pointer. McGlure swipes it away. Edwards posting up on Murray down inside. Check this defense out. They're basically playing zone down on the inside. Edwards 
Kentucky really struggling from the field early. Fourth rebound for McGlure keeps it in Kentucky's hands. Padgett too strong. McGlure tip. Dantzler with the rebound. The one basket made by Kentucky so far was actually tipped in by a Louisville right. player. Sanders, three-pointer. He can shoot the three, Ken Sanders. He's made more threes than any other Cardinal. Shepard driving all the way in and out. Tipped up by Padgett for two. Sanders playing phantom defense out there on the perimeter. Allowed Shepard to go right on by. You've got to stop that dribbler. Well, Purdue holds on for a victory, a hard-fought 81-79 victory over the Providence Friars. Tipped out by Johnson. Sanders was open. Kentucky really out of sync. I think it's going to see a change with Muhammad coming in here down inside, Jim. Kentucky's only made two of its first 11 from the field. All the teams ranked. One of those teams, uh, Purdue, that we just saw come away with a big win today. Uh, Providence Club, pretty impressive there. Just a two-point loss at Purdue's court. Well, you forecast it. Nazi Muhammad, number 13, in for Kentucky. There he is to give the Wildcats the lead. Their leading scorer is only playing 16 minutes a game, but he changes the entire complexion of how their offense runs when he's in there. And a step by Edwards. On a wing, Shepard set up for a three. Nine five Wildcats look out. Maven snags it out of the air. They had a three on two. Nice Into the pass. middle, Sanders gets the roll. Good judgment by Maven that time. Rather than pulling up and taking a jump shot. Tempo really picking up. Edwards with another three. Good rebound by Danzler. Good hands. Danzler's third rebound. to welcome everyone to Rupp Arena. They call it the Dream Game Series, Louisville and Kentucky. With Kentucky leading early, 9-7, Jim Nance, Billy Packer, courtside. Kentucky brought in Nazi Muhammad. Jim, they ought to feed him the ball. He's being played by Dantzler, who's playing behind him. Nazi has tremendous hands. A traveling call against Edwards. And here we see that Kentucky bench come into play right now. Hashimu Evans, number 14, and Cameron Mills, 21. As Padgett will get a rest along with Shepard. Louisville has struggled early in the year, 3-6, and six, while Kentucky 10-1, and one, ranked fourth in the nation. Evans coming off that 14-point, 10-rebound game against Georgia Tech. Really adds fire to this team. A backcourt violation. I thought that that ball was tipped by Kentucky rather than the step back into the backcourt. Saul Smith comes in, freshman, coach's son here at Kentucky. Tubby Smith's second son. Well, we saw his brother with a ball in his hands and a chance to beat North Carolina for the number one rank today. Didn't work out. Game went in overtime, and the Tar Heels pulled it out. Today on CBS, Carolina has won an overtime by two. Purdue with a thriller at home by two over Providence. Cameron Mills driving off the glass. Incredible story for Cameron Mills and Nazi Muhammad. Two very productive players here were basically in the walk-on level. Beautiful block. Block from behind, Louisville ball. Eric Johnson had it swatted away. Looks like an easy layup till Nazi Muhammad comes from behind with those long arms and makes a great block. Dantzler, he's got the bigger man behind him. He tries to go baseline, but he stepped on the line. Muhammad, who had the outstanding game against Indiana that we had earlier this year, 21 points, 12 rebounds, was named the SEC Player of the Week. Really a factor when he comes into the ball game. Bad pass. 
Maben scrapes it off the floor. Let's see if Louisville can have a productive trip. They've turned it over the last three times down the floor. Travis Best is in at point guard number 15. And count the basket. Right off the bench, Tony Williams, who gives him eight a game off the bench, contributes. Denny countering bench for bench here, and Louisville's bench has been very productive. Actually, has outscored the starters on one occasion. Mohamed with his second dunk. Great Padgett steals it on the inbounds. Louisville needs to pull the ball back out and get reorganized. They look like a turnover just waiting to happen. Absolutely. Under 10 on the shot clock. And Johnson, a block called on Kentucky's Saul Smith. Eric Johnson just made up his mind to go through the pack. He was annoyed at Smith's defensive aggressiveness and was kind of lucky there that the foul was called on Kentucky because he had his head down. He was headed for the goal line there. Just the second team foul on Kentucky. Defensive intensity really picking up here. Dantzler from the outside, chased down by Evans. Dangerous pass. And Turner somehow comes out with it. Lob to Muhammad. And best for Louisville. Kentucky's got to be a little bit more patient on offense. Tough pass. Mills reached in. Jim, that's such a fine line for a coach. You want that intensity on defense, but more patience on offense. You know, they try to go for the home run strike every time they make an interception. We got the under 12 timeout. Kentucky on an 11 to 4 run. Has taken the lead after trailing early 5-2. So they have to be much more diligent when they've got the ball on offense, not trying to make the big play, try to become a little bit more solid. They're getting hung up in the in the pattern of play that Kentucky wants to play. Well, Eric Johnson hits a three, Billy. Kentucky is the antithesis of a Princeton. You know, you have to play a different game when you play against this style. And right now, Louisville is playing Kentucky's game. Gives him another chance off the long rebound. Packing it back in in his own. And third try for Kentucky. And Troy Jackson, number 53, has come in for the Cardinals. This will be Louisville ball. Uh, the officials made a mistake here. It has to be Louisville ball. One official call it the other way. There's Troy Jackson, younger brother of Mark Jackson, the NBA guard. Wait a minute. Okay, good. They changed the call. Sanders played by Padgett now, so a much better matchup there for Kentucky. McGlure down there on Jackson. Boy, that's a wide body if I've ever seen one, Jim. Under 10 on the shot clock. He makes Robert Trailer look thin. Tough pass. Best tried to force it into Sanders. The seventh Louisville turnover in the game's first nine minutes. Turner is the defenders, and will head to the line for two. Eric Johnson called for that one. Now you can get all your college hoops action at cbs.sportsline.com. You'll find the latest scores and schedules and standings, all kind of stati statistics for every Division I-A team. Get all the stats that jump out at you about Kentucky when you start thinking about making a run for the national championship. To me is this one right here. Wayne Turner's gonna have the ball in his hands in key situations coming down the floor in a tight game. And he's a 54% free throw shooter. That's something that it would have to worry. And just one of two. He's now made 13 of 24 on the season. Best doing a lot of the ball handling. 
Johnson. Jackson with the rebound. And a push-off called on Kentucky. Called against McGlure, who has come back in his first. Jackson handling that ball, kind of like his brother Mark, who a tremendous ball handler for St. John's, and now in the NBA, one of the top assist men in the upper echelon league. He's being forced to run the full court to chase McGlure. McGlure over Jackson. Hook shot too oh, strong. Oh, nice. Good rebound. Good hands. You talk about his size, but Billy got to give the kid credit. He's lost a lot of weight. Yes, he has. Been rumors anywhere from 450 to 500 pounds at one time in his life. And Sanders snags it for Louisville. 16 12 Wildcats. Kentucky just forcing that ball up offensively. Not getting a lot of good shots here. Bad percentage. Sanders happy to stay outside. They really could use him inside a little more. Best. Not a good shot. Now they had five on the shot clock, and that was an out of sync possession. Kentucky now has missed six straight shots. Only seven of 23 for the game. Really a different team, Jim, with Nahazi Muhammad out of the lineup, isn't it? They, they just don't have that inside game to go to. McGlure, good defensive shot blocker, but doesn't create that inside presence offensively. Turner got past Jackson, count the basket, and Jackson reached in. He will see a great bounce. Turner on the inside, a terrific penetrator. We saw last week Ed Cota from the University of North Carolina, Bibby from Arizona. Some of the guys that just have that ability to penetrate, get that shot off inside. Nazi Muhammad has come back in. They certainly had their best flurry of the game when Muhammad was on the floor. Their leading scorer, their sixth man, and plays less than 17 minutes a game, does Nazi Muhammad. Here we have two teams running up and down the floor, and only 30 points have been scored so far in this game. Kind of sloppy shot selection by both teams. Myron Anthony, you saw him check in, 6'7 freshman from Neptune Beach, Florida. Well, Kentucky has nine players that have got double-digit minutes in playing time. Going the other way, a push-off, and it's called against Tony Williams. Jim, just like another turnover, you know, that really hurts you when you're only scoring 12 points in 12 minutes. You've got to go ahead and have each possession count against Kentucky. Nine turnovers committed by the Cardinals to this point. Good inside screening. over Williams, Muhammad. They're saying it's going the other way. Muhammad uh, pushed off. I can't buy that call, Jim. He had two hands on the ball. Two, watch this. He's got two hands on the ball, and they call him for the charge. Yep, charge call on Muhammad. His first 15 foul. He's got to have room to come down. I think that should have gone the other way. Or best, a no call. Williams on the spin move, turns it over. Look at Muhammad running. Balance on Cameron Murray, that is his second team seventh, and Kentucky is shooting the moments at the line. Kentucky at Rupp Arena. It's had seven seasons where it never lost a game. It's led the nation in attendance the last two years. 39 straight wins at Rupp against non-conference opponents, too. The last non-SEC team to beat Kentucky here at Rupp was Pittsburgh back in 91 in the preseason NIT. Edwards will shoot another. 
Tubby Smith, he is 10 and 1, Billy, for the third straight That's year. Right. Two at Georgia and uh, right here at Kentucky. Kentucky with its largest lead. We have a timeout on the five. The shocking loss to American University of Puerto Rico and the Murray State. Right back to Sanders. Sanders three. Good move right there by Cameron Murray. Sanders is a good shooter. Good idea to get it back in his hands. Sanders, their starting center, but made more threes than any other Cardinal this season. He has seven points. Louisville not shooting well today. Jim and last year shot 44% on the year, which is the lowest Louisville total in 33 years. Shepard. His incredible leaping ability enabled him to stay up in the air long enough to go to the other side of the rim and accept the foul and almost come up with a chance for a three-point play. Dantzler whistled for his second, so Shepard to the line to shoot two. He set out last year. Rick Pitino wanted to give him a better chance to improve his stock for the NBA scouts. You go back to 1995, and this cool cat actually had 27 starts at point guard three seasons ago. Had his tooth broken by Allen Edwards in the Georgia Tech games, came back to play, and has had some back problems here. Tulsa game had to sit a little bit. Has had two big 21-point games against Indiana and Canisius so far this year. Kentucky only three of seven from the line, leading by five. 6.45 to go first half, and an easy steal for Evans to Edwards. Nifty move for two. Nobody came to become a receiver in that passing lane. Put Murray in bad position. There's Sanders making himself available down low. Got Sanders the Shepard behind him. They didn't get a shot out of that mismatch. Dantzler gave it up to Sanders. Tipped in by Johnson. Nate Johnson, the Conference USA Freshman of the Year last season. His number's not as high as last year. You know, even though Louisville's small, Jim, when you look at him, they could cause some trouble with the quickness they have down inside if they get the ball inside a little more. Saul Smith with a three. Kentucky getting a lot of second chances. And a traveling call on Evans. You know, Jim, when you look at this Kentucky team, this is not really a great three-point shooting club. They've had some kids that could really fill it up over the years, but this is not one of those teams that just buries them from out there. Murray driving. A tip try by Johnson. They've had a lot of good looks from outside today and just not able to hit them. Another walking call against Kentucky. McGlure picked up both feet before he put the ball down on the floor. Pretty easy call. Padgett will for return Kentucky for McGlure. For McGlure. Well, we get into the bowl season on CBS this week. Iowa and Arizona State from El Paso. Kansas State and Syracuse on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve night. The Cotton Bowl on the first. And the Orange Bowl, January 2nd. Tennessee and, the, and uh, Tennessee and Nebraska. Sanders inside has it tipped up and in by Dan. That's what I was talking about, Jim. See, they've got interior quickness. When that ball is down inside, they're dangerous against Kentucky. Shepard three-pointer. Dantzler has to look up court instead of looking just back court. Gets that pressure. Louisville settled down a little bit here in the last four or five minutes. 25-19, Kentucky. Men are open inside. They got to keep it down in there. Oh! Off Dantzler, Kentucky ball. 
Kentucky checks in Michael Bradley for the first time. 6'10 freshman from Worcester, Mass. Eric Johnson, he can give him an offensive lift. Former starter in his Louisville career. You know, these two teams both played Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech led Kentucky at halftime and then got blown out in the second half. Just the opposite took place in the Louisville game. Louisville led Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech came out and blew them out in the second half. Yeah, Louisville had a 13-point lead and one of the two matchups against Tech at halftime. Bradley. There's that quickness to the glass again. Tony Williams with an open three. 25-22, Kentucky. Nice job by Denny Crum's team to get out of that helter-skelter game, be a little bit more patient. Edwards off the pick. Williams with the rebound. Williams did a good job out here in a few minutes he's been in the game. Getting some boards for him. Tough Callum pass. Down. Yep. Ahead, Shepard. Jim Maven came into the game as a guard who only had six assists on the year. That's a little scary. Another dangerous pass. Smith. And Williams pushed off this last segment of 30 seconds. Really shows what Denny Crum tried to tell us yesterday at practice about his team's shortcomings this year and just a lack of uh, experience and cohesiveness in the backcourt. Right. Maven, who did not play for a year, had signed originally with Tennessee, then came over to Louisville but had to sit out a year. Then, of course, Cameron Murray, who transferred from Southern Cal, had to sit out a year. So basically, you've got two guys handling the ball as primary ball handlers who had not played basketball last year. So you have, in effect, total inexperience in your backcourt, and that's haunting them. It's the first time in 12 years it's an all-new backcourt, totally new backcourt for Louisville. And Jim, we're talking about the guy that Louisville lost from the backcourt last year, DeWan Wheat, first player in NCAA history to score 2,000 points. 450 assists, 200 steals. This is uh, something that's a pattern for Kentucky basketball established by Rick Pitino and, of course, picked up by Tubby Smith. They're going to go ahead and have runs in the course of the game, and that's why guys can't lose their concentration or run away from the ball when they're being pressed. What's happened to Louisville is they pick up their dribble. Instead of coming to the ball, the guys that are the recipients are running away from the ball, so the passing lane is so long Kentucky can step in there and make interceptions. See, example, you don't want to pick up that dribble. Padgett for two. Yes. Number four, Jerry Johnson into the Louisville lineup, and he was the one who threw it away. You don't want to pick up the dribble, and you don't want to go in the air. Marcus lead now for Kentucky, a nine-point advantage. Murray hacked by Bradley. He'll go to the line for two. Coming up, pins all at the half. Michelle Tafoya with the scores and highlights. Plus, we'll see Denny Crum and Tubby Smith when they went into the ring earlier this year to take on some of boxing's heavyweights. That was kind of funny yesterday talking. Talking to Tubby a couple of weeks ago about his fight, he was all fired up. You know, he said, I'm going in there against Savannah. I'm going to get a couple of good licks. Talking to Denny Crum, he said, hey, my fight was fixed completely. I wasn't about to hit or to be hitting anybody, he said, but the whole deal was that Jimmy Ellis was supposed to go down in the second round. Entirely different approach to the fight. I think I like Denny's idea a little better, though. Well, Murray will shoot one more. It took 17 minutes and 20 seconds into this game before Louisville attempted a free throw. Good hustle. Murray, a great scorer in the California high school ranks, uh, ranking number three all time behind his brother is number two. You know number one all time? Did he go to uh, Arkansas? <laughs> you got it. Absolutely. Darnell Robinson. Darnell Robinson, who should have stayed in college. Have we ever heard from him since? Not since he left early. 
a bad decision. Most titles. Well, we're on our 17th road to the Final Four. We'll very possibly see Kentucky down in San Antonio this year. Well, UCLA, it's not out. Uh, you know, all four of those guys could have a shot. So looking back at last year's title game, you realize Scott Padgett took 12 shots from three-point land in the final against Arizona. He had 17 points in the championship. Three of 12 behind the arc that night. To break the press this time with ease. But Murray doesn't want to challenge. Muhammad whipping around. Johnson steps in for two. Got it. And one. Jim, that very situation that we just saw, Louisville executing very nicely, passing to the next open man. Kentucky yesterday ran a, a neat drill. They had three men on defense, four men on offense. The three on a closeout situation had to do that very thing there to stop the jump shot, but it was just too well executed by Louisville. Cameron Mills committing his second. And you can't tell Cameron Mills. He hustled out there and had a hand up, just couldn't get there in time. Eric Johnson has given him six off the bench to bring him within six. 2.20 to go in the half. Really important two minutes here for Denny Crum. Can't afford another blowout period by Kentucky. Shepard got up in the air, big time that jumper. Evans with the rebound. And a violation walking. Traveling called on Evans. Let's see if Louisville gets the ball up the court here. Everybody runs away from best. One thing that says it all so far for Louisville, six assists, 14 turnovers. Johnson three. Oh, has he come in some big, big points here in this first half? Cuts the lead to three. 32-29 inside of a minute and a half. Best playing off Smith. Smith could be open for a jump shot. Wasn't ready to take it. Shepard resets with seven on the shot clock. Smith fires it inside. Over to Evans. One on the shot clock. Not in time. One pass too many, Jim. Padgett could have taken the shot, maybe even gotten fouled there. He had to recognize when he touched the ball, there were only five seconds to go. 22nd timeout called by Louisville. Well, Denny Crumbs won two national championships, the second coming in 86 down in Dallas. Bill Wagner with the free throw to give him the three-point lead to beat Duke. And that first great class that Mike Krzyzewski had, that senior year for them, 72-69 Louisville taking the national championship. And Jim, you know, that year in this particular game, the December match, Kentucky beat Louisville 64-69. Denny Crom with 616 wins in 27 years at Louisville. Member of the Hall of Fame. Only three active coaches right now in the Hall of Fame. Bob Knight. Don Haskins. Don Haskins. Denny Crump. Denny Crump. Dean Smith retirement took him out of the picture. And Petey Corral inducted to the Hall of Fame, but he was retired two years ago. So three active coaches in the Hall of Fame. Cardinals can tie it with a three. Be good to work it right down to about the five-second mark before they look for one. Almost a turnover. Williams. And Muhammad saves it from going out. Edwards snowboarding for two. Wow. Lovato fell asleep on that play. Ten seconds to go in the half and a whistle on Smith. It'll be a one and one. 
Jim, everybody was thinking the half was over. You can see nobody back on defense. Big mistake by Louisville. Good execution by Kentucky. Mohammed recognizing what's going on. Edwards broke it, broke long. So Cameron Murray again, a USC transfer, and the younger brother of Tracy Murray of the Washington Wizards, who formerly starred at UCLA. Recruited to Southern Cal by George Raveling, our buddy, colleague. He yep. loved Coach Raveling. Murray, his two years at SC, led the Trojans in assists. Had a high game this year, 21 against Arkansas. Just as he was going to matriculate there, Coach Ravlin, who everybody remembers, had that very serious automobile accident, had to step down, change this young man's plans. Murray will sit. Final eight seconds of the half. Maben comes in. Full court pressure. Want to keep the dribbler in front of you here. Don't try to steal the ball. Commit a bad foul. Shepard down the lane. And a block called. Louisville's bench can't believe it. With six tenths of a second in the half. Well, here's where Best had to keep the, tr the dribbler in front of him. The referee figured that the defender got over there too late. I don't think so. I believe he was in pretty good position. Denny Crum does agree as well. Now, what Denny doesn't want right now is a technical foul. They're in the double bonus, so they'll shoot one more. There were six tenths of a second on the clock when they made the call. Now the clock shows one tenth of a second. The difference being with a tenth of a second, you can't catch the ball and shoot it. You could only tip it. Six tenths in theory, you could actually catch it and get a shot off. Now, now Denny Crum really on this official. He's got to be real careful here because you pick up two tees with six tenths of a second going and could hurt you. So they adjust the clock. Johnson with the long ball. Eric Johnson puts it up. Pretty good effort just to attempt the shot. So a feisty first half here with Kentucky leading 35-31. Michelle Tafoya will be along with Pennzoil at the half right after this message. With a huge second half surge. Well, they are a team of spurts, and we saw that in the first half of this basketball game. Something Louisville really has to be careful of. They had six assists and 14 turnovers in the first half to Louisville. They can ill afford that in the second if they're going to stay in this ball game. Push off by Padgett. Yep. That call on Padgett, and here's a look at the Kentucky second half surge against the likes of Clemson, Purdue, Georgia Tech. Tulsa, they were down a point at the half and then one by 21. And here's that full court man to man pressure. They keep it on. Now let's see if Louisville can have guys coming to the ball a little better in the second half. That's where a lot of those turnovers took place. Straight man to man. Good backdoor cut by Dancer. Dancer puts it up for two. Breakdown on the defense, but a good cut. McGlure will shoot two free throws. Jim, one of the things McGlure is going to have to work on now, he's a very good shot blocker, has good strength, but he has very slow feet. It's kind of amazing. It looks like his mind knows what he wants to do, but his feet are very, very slow, and it puts him in a position where he doesn't explode off the floor. Nate Johnson committing his second. McGlure's biggest game of the season was against Missouri. Over in Maui, he had 18 points, 17 rebounds. Kentucky lost over at Maui to Arizona. And for the fifth year in a row, it's surprising, Kentucky has lost one of its first three games the last five years. They dropped Clemson. a game early. Yeah, Clemson early last year. UMass one year. Yep. Nice maneuver, throwing the ball back out of bounds.
That's a good move that time by Louisville. Get the ball over half court, then settle down for your half court offense. Kinsler had it rejected. He was trying to make that same behind the back shot he made at the previous trip. Turner. Three skidding off the rim. Over to McGlure. No hands. Louisville has the numbers. Dantzler goes in. Too strong. Good job by Shepard defensively there. And Sanders doesn't make himself. There's a cut. Another backdoor cut. That time I made it. Sanders does not make himself tough the guard down inside. It kind of hurts Louisville. Turner doesn't want to take that three. Only made four all last year. Made five this season. Kentucky's lead is two. You wonder when Tubby Smith is going to come back with Nazi Muhammad. He needs his inside presence. Now look at Louisville with a trip to tie or take the lead. Murray. Good rebound. And McGlure over the back. Billy, nine teams undefeated. Led by North Carolina. It's only one team from the SEC still undefeated, and one team from Conference USA. How about that club, Oklahoma State? Did you ever hear of a guy named Eddie Sutton? They've heard of him around here. I guarantee you. How about Tony Williams giving Louisville the lead with a three? 38-37. They've come back from nine down. Tubby Smith getting very frustrated with his club on the floor right now. He's got three subs ready to come in. Shepard. A 15-5 run by the Cardinals. Going back to late first half, and Murray, beautiful, beautiful dipsy do. Three-point lead. Looked like he was going to put it up on the left-hand side and went right underneath McGlure. Turner can tie it. 40-40. Good job by Turner gathering himself on that shot. Two on one, Sanders lob, Johnson. Johnson, a tremendous vertical leap. Sanders knew it. Timeout, Kentucky at 20. Timeout, Kentucky. This will be a 20 second timeout. Now you can get money from home with the gold equity G line of Credit Central Bank. Well, Louisville just three and six on the year. For the kids, we have with a 42 40 lead. They call it the Dream Game Series. Back in 1983, in the Mideast Regional Finals, Louisville and Kentucky met. It had been 24 years since they had last played. Jim Master hit a jump shot that sent it into overtime, but the Cardinals prevailed, advancing to the Final Four, where Louisville eventually lost in the semifinals to Houston at Vice Lama Jamma. That set up one of the great all-time semifinals, Jim. Your alma mater, Houston, looking like they would Definitely win the national championship in another day and only to run into Jim Valvano's club. Look at this. Louisville comes out in a zone, a 2-3 zone, just to change things around a little bit. Nice block. Evans blocked. Tony Williams having a fine game out here. Sanders snaps it over. Murray with a three. Look at Louisville, 45 to 40. Looks like Lewis Bullock in the Michigan Duke comeback, huh? And Hit yesterday against uh, Syracuse. Underneath, Muhammad blocked by Sanders, but they got a piece of the hand. So Muhammad to the line. He has improved as a free throw shooter. You might remember in last year's championship game, Nazi Muhammad was 0 for 6 from the line against the Wildcats. In the rematch this year in Maui, he was six of six from the free throw line. Well, in every aspect, this young man has dedicated himself to become a better basketball player. We saw him uh, when he first arrived at Kentucky. And I give a lot of credit to Rick Pitino and his staff diligently working with this young man and the guy to accept that uh, work ethic. 
he has become a good one. We saw his numbers, his field goal percentage of 65%. If he could keep that standard, he would set the Kentucky single season mark set by Rick Roby back 20 years ago in a championship game. Right, 78, Rick Roby, All-American. Edwards pushed off. This Kentucky team right now, this year, their rebound margin is such that it has to go back all the way to the days of Dan Issel to match the record set the rebound margin by a team. Murray floats for two. Murray putting on a quite a show here in the second half. He has ten for the game. Seven in the second half. Staying in that zone, trying to take Muhammad out of his offensive presence in the low post. Evans, they double teamed him and stripped the ball away. Eric. Murray again, three pointer. Eric Johnson having a fine game here coming off that bench. Both ends of the floor. Edwards lobs it to Muhammad. Nazi Muhammad with eight. 47-44 Louisville. Sets up the press. Sanders took his eye off it. And a foul on Johnson. Louisville actually had the numbers, had beaten the press nicely, and Sanders looked ahead instead of catching the ball first. Second foul on Johnson, second team foul. Nate Johnson's coming back in for Louisville. The Cardinals were nine down in the first half, but they now lead by three at Rupp Arena. Is able to win. Louisville showing a pressing team, but they can press too. Block. Smith, you got it. Dantzler blocked it, but a foul against Louisville. Was he going to count that a basket? Oh, that's no foul no, ball. That was no, goal no, 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 no goaltend on that play. It looked like it had just left his hand. Absolutely. Tough pass. Good job. Coming back to the ball by Johnson. Williams doesn't look good bringing the ball up the court, but so far he's been effective. About six foot seven. You got Johnson and Johnson out there now, but a dangerous pass. Oh, Smith is hurt. So he's going to hang in there. Turner coming back in off the bench. How about a five second call. Eight on the shot clock. As Effort gives Kentucky the lead back. He is terrific at that, Jim. He knows he has that tremendous leaping ability, so when he goes inside, he just goes above everybody. Louisville doing a much better job coming back with the pass against that press in the second half. Johnson. Wow, what a performance off the bench. Three-pointer by Eric Johnson. At 21 against Georgia Tech off the bench with eight rebounds. And Muhammad at the other end yeah. ties it. Can't let him handle the ball in that tight. 50-50. I'm really impressed with what Williams has done bringing the ball up the floor. He's taken the ball out of the hands of the guards and been very effective. Williams from the corner, four on the shot clock. Had to give it up. Boy, Kentucky's relentless, though, aren't they? And last touch by Louisville. Remember that goaltending call, Billy? Let's see it right here. See, that was an excellent block. Ball on the way up. No way that's a goaltend. Ball was hit actually before it even touched the glass, Jim, so it's got to be on the way up. 
You know, Billy, they've actually adjusted the score here. The shot that was made by Eric Johnson, it looked like a three, has now been ruled a two. So Kentucky leads 50-49. to 49. They had it 50-50 on the board here for well over a minute. Kentucky faithful wanting the ball to go down inside some. Troy Jackson picks it off. Sanders. Maven with a three. And the freshman who in his debut game as a starter, the first game, and only the 11th freshman ever to start for Denny Crum at 22. Murray with a three. On the foul. Mills, I should say. Mills too strong. 52-50, Louisville leading the fourth-ranked team in the country. Jim Nance with Billy Packer from Rupp Arena. Jim, I'd like to put these three-point shots in perspective in regard to Denny Crum. The first year of the three-point shot was 1987. You know what Louisville averaged that year in three-point shooting? They barely took Four any. Four a game. Yep. <laughs> and remember, there was a lot of talk about how there was such a disparity between how many threes Kentucky was attempting right. and Louisville. Well... That's changed. Yeah, Rick Pitino came in in 1990, and his teams took almost 29 threes a game. Here, Denny Crum did not like it. Of course, he lost uh, Milt Wagner, Jeff Hall, two what would have been two great three-point shooters the year before. They won a national championship. They graduated, so he really didn't have three-point shooters in the backcourt. Little discussion here. Are we still talking about the three or the two, Jim? Do you think that's what they have in mind? They're still talking about that shot by Eric John. Denny yeah. Crum's wanting an explanation because he knows the scoreboard here was changed. Yeah. Coach has the right to question. Boy, how much better in the second half has Louisville been against the press? Also shot 64% here in the second half. After being in the 30s in the first half. Troy Jackson stuffed. Wow. Edwards to the hole. How about that speed? He did turn the corner that time. Nazi Muhammad on the reach in. That's the fifth Kentucky foul. This was an explosion to the hoop. Just a really blazing turn of the corner by Edwards. Young man who last year was injured in the NCAA tournament. 52 all. Kentucky and Louisville. Not a three, but for a while they had credited him with a three. Yeah, I didn't see any of the officials come up with a three-point signal. So it might have been just the uh, score that had three. Now we'll see the, we'll see it right here. You'll see right there's the line, foot definitely on the line, so it cannot be a three. So excellent uh, adjustment of the score there, and the fact that it was a two-point shot all the way. Jimmy, when you think of this incredible series between these two storied programs, I have to go back to 86 when Rex Chapman had those 26 points, and kind of his debut in the national scene. That was somewhat of an upset because of the, of the margin, 34-point win for Kentucky. I go back to 90, Jeff Brasso had those six threes, Kentucky was raining the threes all over. That, that to me was somewhat of an upset, but this would have to be, if you start thinking about this series, probably the biggest upset of all if Louisville were to win this game. Now Kentucky's won six of the last seven and beat Louisville last year in Freedom Hall by 20. Year before by 23. So they have had their way with Louisville. Stansler double teamed. Good double team in there by Kent. Push off. Will it be on Padgett? No, it's Turner. At the conclusion of this game, Billy and I will select the Chevrolet most valuable player from each team. Today, Chevrolet has awarded over six and a half million dollars to the scholarship funds of America's colleges. Nice move, floater by Williams. Tony Williams has really been the difference in the second half. He and Eric Johnson 
big boost off the bench. Johnson had nine in the first half. They're back in that 2-3 zone. Kind of hanging with it. Cody Williams has 10 on the game. Cameron Mills. Here's Williams again, three-pointer. Wow. wow. <laughs> and the same reaction, Jim. He is just, you know, sometimes you get in that zone, and that's what he is playing like. Whether he's handling the ball, getting on the boards, or taking the shots. Matching Louisville's largest lead of five. Staying in that zone. Evans trying to get open down inside. A dangerous player in there because of his quickness. Padgett. What's happening also is Tubby Smith is matching up with Louisville, going away from his big team, going with a smaller team. Now, Muhammad coming back in now, but that certainly favors Denny Crum when he goes to the smaller lineup. Padgett with his third, and Tubby Smith's team now has committed seven, so it'll be a one and one And the frenetic pace that the defensive press had caused for Kentucky in the first half really brought this great Kentucky crowd back into the game. But you can see now it's kind of silenced as Louisville's been able to meet that pressure. So Alex Sanders, a one and one. Still in the 2-3 zone. Yes, to Edwards. Tipped up and in by Nazi Muhammad. Well, Sanders almost took it off, took the eyes off of it again. Push off on Evans. Boy, Evans was in a perfect position to double team with Smith that time. As Cameron Murray was somewhat off balance. Myron Anthony in for Evans. And Cameron Murray will shoot a one and one. Let's point out something. This young guy had 21 points against Arkansas, 14 against Georgia Tech. So even though he was primarily a lower scorer and high assist man at Southern Cal, he's shown he can put some points on the board here at Louisville. You know, he could have been a star player at UCLA. They wanted him to commit his junior year. And he said, I'm not ready to commit. So they said, OK, we're going to recruit a guy named Cameron Dollar. He could have been the one replacing Ty Edney in that championship game in 95 against Arkansas out in Seattle. Sometimes you never know. Of course, his brother did go to UCLA. One of the great pure shooters that the college basketball scene has had in a long, long time. 12 points for Cameron Murray. Louisville back with a five-point lead. Shepard, he's got three out of four from behind the arc tonight. Nice job by Smith, the penetration and the kick out. The press really set up now. Who's going to come back to the ball? Kentucky has four guys on that end of half court. Maven. He scares you a little bit against this press. Foul on Edwards. And Maven will shoot a one and one. Pointed out at the top of the game, Maven only had six assists coming into this basketball game. Maven, who signed originally with Tennessee, out of Clarksville, Tennessee, as a freshman, had to sit out a year. Never did. End up going to the Volunteers, but recruited there by Kevin O'Neill. So they had three one-on-one -on -one opportunities. They missed two front ends. Murray made both of his. And the man-to-man -man got out of that zone. Good crossover dribble. Smith. Anthony with the rebound, and he'll shoot two. Foul on Kev Maven. Kev Cameron Murray got hit in the eye, Jim. He's asking the referee to give him a little chance here, see if he can see. Now let's check out the CBS Sportsline stat of the game and bench points. Louisville right on its season average with 26. 10-point bench. 
performance better than Kentucky. Anthony rattles at home. He'll shoot one more. Used it all there. Here's Johnson coming back into the ballgame. Maven sitting going down. Maven having committed a second. And the made free throw will bring Nate Johnson in. 59-59. So they fought back from five down as Kentucky for a second time. Kentucky backing off on the press, looking to pick it up now at half court and make their trap at half court. Watch this. Sanders got stuck. Caught midair. Turns it over. Wildcats look for the lead. That ability again to just to elevate up above the defense. Eric Johnson. Oh, just when they needed it. Johnson and Williams today have just come in off of that bench. So solid. No doubt about that being a three for Johnson. at 62-61 Louisville. Pack back in the zone again. Jumped away out there. Sanders had a slip away and they said Kentucky ball. That looked like it would chip me the other way. They say Louisville ball. The crowd says that's Kentucky basketball. You see Sanders has a hand on it. Wow, how about that one, Jim? Under eight timeout, but Louisville will have it when we come back. Holding Kentucky to 38% from the field. Eric Johnson with 16, Tony Williams with 13. Jim Louisville with 49 now means they're right at about 60% here in the second half. That last play, my estimation, should have been Kentucky's ball out of bounds. Anthony fighting for it with Sanders. I thought Sanders touched it last. It looked pretty clear. Good decision by Murray. Posted up by Johnson inside, no double team. Jackson kicks it out, Murray. There. There's no way Jackson's going to score on the inside on Mo Muhammad. And everybody left their man. They have knocked down 11 three pointers. So Smith trying to answer. Edwards in the air, and Murray says, I touched him. Probably a pretty good foul by Murray because Edwards had an easy putback. And that's just the 15 foul for Murray, his third. Jackson sitting in the center of that 2-3 zone. Anthony rejected by Dantzler, and Murray scoops it away. Sensational play by Dantzler. Four-point lead and possession. Boy, is Cameron Murray making a lot of good decisions, Jimmy. Takes it so that the defense has to respect it. Then he pulls it back out to let his team get set up. Johnson rejected by both Muhammad and Shepard. But it stopped Shepard on the dribble. Charge. You know Shepard's going to take it all the way. You got to play him for the dribble. Tubby Smith wanting him to stop at the foul line. Shepard's always going to try to take it all the way to the basket. Jamal. 
Murray gets over there, so he's making judgments on offensive and a defensive end of the floor. Sanders beats him long. He walks. When you're this big of an underdog on the road and you have the lead, every yeah. trip is so critical. Yeah, you have it. Unless you know you can finish that play, bring it back out, use some clock. Catch it. Good rebound by Dantzler. Good, solid hands. You're Denny Crum, you probably feel like me a lot better when Cameron Murray's got the ball in his hands than anybody else out there. Although Tony Williams back in a ball game, he's uh, done a fine job with the ball. Sanders out high, three-pointer. And the big center gives him the seven-point lead. He's actually only 6'7", but for their center, he can really shoot the three. Largest lead of the game for Louisville. Now, if you're Kentucky, Jim, there's still plenty of time out here, particularly with their explosive nature of their basketball team. But they've got to go ahead and get back to getting the ball down inside and popping it back out a little bit. They're relying almost solely on taking three-point shots. There's, there it is. Catch it from the baseline. McClure fights for the rebound, puts it up too strong. Second chance. Whistle on Louisville. Good hustle by McGlure. Tonight on CBS, the Northwestern Mutual Life World Figure Skating Championship. Starring Krista Yamaguchi, Paul Wiley, Katarina Vick. That will be followed by early edition and Walker, Texas Ranger. It's all coming up tonight on CBS. Another 55% free throw shooter, however, for Kentucky on the boards. But McGlure did battle that time. He'll shoot two. So when you think of great Kentucky free throw shooters, you think of Kyle Macy. He's coaching at Moorhead now. They were beaten by Kentucky 88-49, beaten by Louisville 84-54. Then they beat Marshall. Marshall turned around and beat Wake Forest. It was in the top 25. This has been some college season already. This has been some day of basketball on CBS. Good steal by Padgett. North Carolina prevailing in overtime at Georgia by two. Purdue ekes out a two-point home win against Providence. And a possible stunner in the making here. Surprise Sanders doesn't try to drive by McGlure. Inside, Dantzler. Beautiful feed by Murray. Nine point lead for Louisville. A whistle. I believe it's going to be on Dantzler blocking out on McGlure. Tried to block him out and pushed him from the backside. Dantzler's third. Denny Crum yesterday practiced, or actually on Christmas Day, two days ago, practiced his team for three and a half hours. He said, guys, I tell you, Christmas will be a lot more enjoyable this season if we can pull the shocker off at Kentucky. Six Final Fours. There's some caustic articles written in today's paper and yesterday's paper about Denny Crum not living up to his part of the bargain to keep this as a great rivalry. What if people don't remember last year there were yeah. eight teams made it to the final eight and he had one of them. They made it to the East Regional Final. Yeah. When did his program uh, go down so far they can't be proud of it. Denny Crum He's less than four minutes away from a very satisfying. Louisville, meanwhile, three and six on the year. Again, you see nobody guarding the man taking the ball out of bounds. Louisville uses that to step a man out of bounds, throw it cross court. 
make that entry pass so much easier. To the basket for two. Basket by Eric. Padgett thought he was going to take another three. That shows you when you hit some of those threes, how the defense has to respect you. Just blew by. Great vertical leaper is Johnson. Just buried that strong. Edwards. And that's the first field goal for Kentucky in almost five minutes. And you know what that did, Jim? It allowed them to set up their press. The three-pointer cuts it to six. Kentucky has not put the press on and kept it on. They kind of put it on, try to go for the steal, and then go back. I think they'd be much more effective if they reinstated the press, even if Louisville beats it. Johnson, turn around. He's on Pass fire. By Johnson. He's got 20 off the bench. Good help by Williams on that zone. To grab by Johnson. It's 2.33 to go. That's the fourth on Johnson. Yeah, four on Johnson. Now, he has to be thinking a little bit out there in the fact that Turner doesn't want to take the outside shot. He's going to want to penetrate, so you don't want to reach in there and follow him out in that area. It'll be a one and one for Turner. Play solid with your feet. Move your feet and stay in front of the dribbler. Only 54% from the line is Turner. And you see what Padgett, realizing he's a bad free throw shooter, almost stepped in early. Williams. Wow, why? Why would you take that shot? Lucky to get it back and a push off on Padgett. That with two and a half to go. They didn't need that three-point <laughs> attempt. Teddy Crum and all of his staff over there putting their hands to their heads say, think out there. The clock is an opponent of Kentucky right now. They called that one on McGlure. They gave that to McGlure, his fourth. So two shots, two shots for Williams, double bonus. Then he come with his two assistants, Jerry Eves being one of, was a great point guard on his outstanding teams. Excellent thinker out there, and he, like Denny Crum, had their hands right to their forehead saying, think. McGlure down, Muhammad in. They did call that on Padgett. They've changed the announcement. That's four on Padgett. And Johnson's that's fouled it. out. Boy, that's a big, big break for Kentucky. Johnson picks up his fifth. Kentucky gets a chance to go to the line with a pretty good free throw shooter and take no time off the clock. What a game, though, for Eric Johnson. He was a starter as a freshman. They're going to use their time here before they have to replace him, having fouled out. Billy, we remember him starting as a forward for Denny Crum, only 6'3". Now, Denny Crum has had a number of six foot three guys that you could call forward. Remember Sims Alvin, with the, Sims. Alvin Sims with the incredible dunking display he did here in a Louisville loss a couple of years ago. But he's always had some explosive jumpers. Nate Johnson in for Eric Johnson. Eric sits after making eight out of ten from the field. Shepard will shoot a one and one. But Jim, see how important it was for Williams to hold that ball outside. You know, he... There's a push inside. Big miss by Shepard. And a foul. They call it on Evans, his second. And he'll shoot two at the other end. Just 222 remaining. See, there was 222 when Williams took that jumper from the outside. Louisville really has dodged one here in the fact that they would have been better off with the ball, occupied another 30 seconds or so. And Johnson's still on the floor. And, and Johnson would still be back out on the floor, right? Damian Dantzler, who started his 67th straight game today. He'll get one more. It's a double bonus. Billy, put it in perspective how big an upset this would be. Well, without question, as I mentioned this earlier in the game, it would be without question the biggest upset in this series 
And you know, when you start thinking about the story career of Denny Crump, I'm not so sure it wouldn't be the biggest upset in his coaching career. Shepard. Evans takes it in. See, now here they're keeping the press on. Good job by Kentucky. Timeout called by Murray. They call it 20. And Denny Crum wants some help back there with Cameron Murray in the backcourt. What, what Louisville has to do now is to work against this press half court at a time. Get it over half court, then get into their offense. Well, there was another magnificent upset this week. American University of Puerto Rico defeated Arkansas. The Razorbacks were undefeated and ranked 12th. American Puerto Rico also upset Alabama earlier this season. Arkansas went on to lose to Murray State in that tournament. Michigan won the title of the Puerto Rico Holiday Classic, blowing out Syracuse last night by 32. But back to Denny Crum. Denny Crum, six Final Fours, two national championships. But this would have to be the shining moment of the 90s. No Final Fours in the 90s. Be hard to top this moment. Four in the 80s with two national championships. They were the team of the 80s. And that's what I was talking about for Louisville. Beat the press, then get into your half court set. Hand checking by Shepard. Put Williams on the line for two. We've got figure skating tonight. World figure skating championship. Krista Yamaguchi, Paul Wiley, Katarina Vitt. Then early edition and Walker, Texas Ranger, all coming up tonight on CBS. Jim, you know, one of the things that uh, really impressed me, you mentioned about that big upset, American Puerto Rico against Arkansas. I was really impressed with Nolan Richardson uh, in, in the quality in which he accepted that defeat. Said, hey, we just got beat by a better team. They just outplayed us in this ball game. No excuses. Uh, class statement. Williams with 15, a career high. Well, you don't want to foul if you're Louisville. And Williams commits it, and Murray does it the other end. It is fourth, Billy. Have just a minute, 42 remaining. Well, I don't know where Denny Crum would go for his primary ball handler. Probably be Travis it, Best. Yep. Turner to shoot two, double bonus. To bring him within six. Kentucky's only loss of the year was to Arizona. Rematch of last year's final. Who was number one at the time. 76-70 Louisville. Murray splits the defenders. Goes inside and wins. Hacked by Muhammad on the way up. Now that's that's the call on Shepard. That was a good foul by Muhammad because it was an easy put away. Some dribbling exhibition by Murray here. Split the difference. Call it on Evans, his third. That would have been a tough one to put away. Tony, a nephew of Keith Williams, who used to star in the backcourt at Louisville, makes one of two. Shepard tries to feed it inside. Kentucky fortunate to keep it. Turner. He's terrific at that penetration. Down to five. Shepard on the bump. Nate Johnson will shoot two. A lot of time in this ball game unless Louisville can make free throws, Jim. You can't keep hitting just one of two from the free throw line because there's still a lot of time on the clock for Kentucky. Both teams with almost a full supply. Two full timeouts and a 20 each. The arrow belongs to the Cardinals. First free throws of the game for Nate Johnson. He's 74% on the season. That's shoot two. No follow through on the shot. Did you notice that, Jim? As soon as he released it, he dropped his hands right down to his waist. You got to stay right up there on these shots.
22nd timeout called by Coach Crump. His team leads by six with a minute 18 remaining. You know, Louisville as a program has 46 straight years, Billy, with winning seasons. That's second longest in history to UCLA's ongoing streak of 49. Come into this game and so many people were writing off this team with a three and six record, even though the six losses were all the teams that were ranked. Now, earlier you saw Denny Crump with his second national championship. Here's the first with Daryl Griffith and company winning at Market Square Arena in Indianapolis, beating UCLA in the final 59-54. Denny Crump meets Larry Brown at center court. And he clearly did have the program of the 80s. Without question, Larry Brown eventually got his national crown at Kansas. Back to the zone, trying to stop some of this dribble penetration is the zone. Cameron Mills in now, he's a deadly three-point shooter. Evans from three. Turner fights for it. Shepard gets it. And a timeout. Big loose ball recovery by Kentucky. About three different times on that possession. Timeout, Kentucky. You'll see this ball on the floor. Terrific job eventually by Shepard. Not only recovers it, but puts it up. Kentucky's within four with 59 seconds remaining. Has to occupy some time here. So take the chance. Five seconds. Yes. Five seconds. Nobody coming back to the ball. When you make the pass, Jim, cross court under the basket like that, somebody has to be breaking immediately to the ball. Everybody from Louisville ran in the other direction. You know, Louisville sitting on 78. They are 26 and 1 when they score over 80. They're sitting there two away from it. They go man to man. Look for Turner on a drive. Turner. There he goes. Jim, you can anticipate this. Turner saw that we're in man to man. He is tremendous at dribble penetration and is a good finisher when he gets there. Denny Crum has been changing his defenses on called timeouts. But I think they'd be smart to stay in that zone that time. a timeout. That's Smart. twice he's done that. It's all the only move he had, out, Jim. A full timeout. 45 seconds to go. All day at the free throw line, making 10 out of 19. And the timeout called by Murray leaves the Cardinals with only one. Jim. They have 30 on the shot clock, 45 game clock. Jim, a number of those, the front ends of one and ones as well. The free throw line important, and again, I mentioned they are 26 and 1 in their last 27 games when they score over 80, and they're two points away from it. You can expect intense pressure here getting this ball in bounds. Remember, the guy can't run on this sideline. Kentucky knows Louisville has to give up the ball. Shot clock, 12, about 12 seconds. 13 seconds differential. Sanders needs help. Gets it to Murray with 10 on the shot clock. He ought to penetrate.
penetrate all the way to the basket here. He's got to go to the basket. Defended by Turner. Murray shot. Skips out. Rebound to Nate Johnson. And a foul called on Shepard with 14.8 seconds remaining. Big mistake by Louisville, and they got away with it, Jim. Two men ran long. Nobody there for the long rebound. Nate Johnson will go to the line for two. That time, the loose ball went to Louisville. Yep. He's one of two today. Critical shots here because we're down to 14 seconds. Johnson rooting so hard over in that sidelines, played an incredible game. But he's out with five fouls. They've missed him the last two minutes. This for a three-point lead. 79-76, Louisville. Smart play by Cameron Murray. Took away the easy inbounds pass. Kentucky needs a three to tie it. We'll be right back. You're coming out of the timeout. Jim, I think you want to press full court, make Kentucky take as much time as possible. Don't go for any steals. Just try to stay in front of the dribbler, in between the dribbler and the basket. Force Kentucky to use as much of this 14 seconds to get the ball in shooting position. And then you get down to the fact, do you want to foul here and put Kentucky, particularly if it's Turner, I wouldn't mind seeing them foul Turner after he's used about six seconds to dribble the ball up the court, put him on the line. Not a good free throw shoot, and it takes away the opportunity for Kentucky to have a three. Here he has the ball. I'd foul him right now. But Murray has four fouls. He backs off. Seven seconds to go. Padgett can tie it. That's an air ball. And Louisville with a shocker. Louisville has won at Rupp Arena, knocking off mighty Kentucky. Well, Kentucky got the shot they wanted, Jim, but it was an air ball by Padgett. The Chevrolet MVPs of the game. Eric Johnson of Louisville and Jeff Shepard of Kentucky. Chevrolet donates $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund. The dream game series. Some were saying it might be a snoozer today. Kentucky was such a heavy favorite, but Louisville with one of its finest performances in years. Tim, I think in all of Denny Crump's career, this has to be the biggest upset he was ever involved in. So for Billy Packer, this is Jim Nance saying so long from Rupp Arena, where Louisville has beaten fourth-ranked Kentucky 79-76.